Welcome to LTechEnglish.com and this is a question a student sent me for correction some time ago, perhaps a few months ago. And the question is, some people think that it is a good thing for a senior management position to have high salaries compared to other staff of the same company. To what extent do you agree? So this is an opinion essay. And uh, there's a comparison. There's a comparison between you know, right, senior management and other workers versus others in the same company. So basically this is the question is about disparity of income. And as you all know, recent business sections of newspapers have have contained a lot of um, discussion on this topic that managerial salaries, that is that of senior management or the what we call the executive class, has been exorbitantly high as compared to others. For instance, in, in North America, the salary of blue collar workers has stayed stagnant. Uh, it has not changed since the 1980s. And as far as I remember, this is an estimate. I'm not talking statistical in statistical terms. Um, while that of senior management has grown manifold. Okay, so there is a lot of disparity and the gap, the income gap is increasing. The income gap is increasing. So the question is on that topic. And this is a correction essay. So below this YouTube video is a link to this essay if you're watching this on YouTube. And just click on that link. You can see this answer. This is the introduction. We'll be discussing all the sections, introduction, body paragraphs, as well as conclusion the student wrote. Uh, you can see the complete essay over there. And you can also go through sample answer by clicking the link over here. Okay, just do that. All right, let us begin with the essay. The student writes in the introduction, it is thought by some people. Now this is a passive voice. It is thought by some people. There's nothing wrong about passive voice. At some places you can't avoid it. However, active voice is usually preferred. That's, that's a straight way of talking. And what is active voice? It is a voice in which uh, the subject comes at the beginning of the sentence. So what is the subject? Some people think. So in a passive voice, it comes in the middle of the sentence. So just place it at the beginning. Some people think that high-ranked executives should have very high payouts as compared to their industrious co-workers who are striving. The student wrote, are striving to make their firm prosperous by leaps and bounds. Now, our striving is a, t is a, is a tense form, uh, is, is a present continuous tense form, which shows that the activity is going on right now. So present continuous means that the activity is continuing. However, this activity is not continuing right now. Um, it is better to use simple present tense over here. So industrious co-workers who strive to make their firms prosperous by leaps and bounds. There's no need of writing leaps and bounds, but that's, mm. that's not a mistake. It is an ambiguous topic inviting an array of positive as well as neg negative argumentators. Now, this sentence itself is shrouded in, in, in a number of mistakes. Um, it is an ambiguous topic. First of all, the topic is not ambiguous. The topic is amply clear. Some people think that it is a good thing for senior management position to have high salaries compared to other workers of the same company. Um, secondly, inviting an array of positive as well as negative argumentators. I can't see any argumentators. There's no need of mentioning that. Uh, rather, this is an opinion essay. The question seeks your opinion. Mention your opinion clearly. Where do you stand? In the previous sentence, the student has written, some people think. So it's not his opinion. You have to mention your opinion. So mention your opinion clearly. I agree with this opinion or I disagree with this. 
that they should not have exorbitantly high salaries. So mention your opinion correctly and mention the reasons along with the reasons. I'm sorry. Uh, mention the reasons in support of your argument. What are the reasons number one, reason number two? At least two reasons and that will be sufficient for introduction. Okay, the general, the general uh, sentence, the first sentence is fine. So what ideal should introduction have? It should have a general sentence, an introductory sentence, which gives an idea about the core of the essay, and it should have an opinion essay. Second sentence should contain the opinion as well as the reasons supporting your opinion. So what are the reasons that um, the executives should have high salary or they should not have high salary as compared to normal workers. Okay, let us come to the body paragraphs. Okay, here is the body paragraph one. This is body paragraph one and this is body paragraph two. And let us go through them. The first word that the body paragraph has is furthermore. Now you can't start a body paragraph with furthermore. Once an introduction is complete, once an introduction is complete and you are moving to body paragraph one, there should be a smooth transition. There should be a smooth transition. Now here, um, the student writes furthermore it comes into picture only when you are you have presented already presented one point and you're moving to the next point however here the student has not proposed even the first point okay so this is wrong this is not the right way to begin the paragraph um, advocating the issue um, there are a lot of things advocating the issue discrepancy in salaries is justified to some extent now, what are exactly are you at who is exactly advocating the issue now moreover the student has written this as a modifier which which we will discuss at a later stage um, there's need to write advocating this issue I believe discrepancy in salaries is justified to some extent okay so there are a lot of things that need to be discussed it needs a noun so the sentence structure was not clear um, Okay, let us let us move further. Um, the student has given his opinion in, in the introduction, not in the introduction, but in body paragraph. So your opinion, let me change the color over here. Uh, okay, well, this one seems fine. Okay, so the opinion, the opinion has to be reserved for introduction only. The student has given uh, opinion in the first body paragraph. That's a mistake. That this is not the right place. Uh, most directors have spent their working lives developing the skills and experience to be eligible for a board level post. Um, this is fine. However, directors are already at board level. Secondly, the question is about executives. So most senior level executives or I should have written senior over here most senior executives or employees or most executives this is a much better construction much better usage of words most executives spend their working lives developing the skills and experience to be eligible for a board level position they have earned it seems as if you're talking about a particular set of people um, however the, the, the simple present tense is more appropriate over here you need to use simple present tense since this is applicable for present, past, as well as future. So that this is an eternal truth. So they earn position. For that, you have to use the simple present tense. They earn that position by burning midnight oil. Um, okay, that's fine. However, um, this you, the student has tried to explain the idea in the previous sentence this was the idea developing the skills and experience however it's not just done by midnight oil so you have to 
uh, be a bit more explanative, explain the first idea in a bit more detail, be, be a bit more specific. What do you mean by burning just burning the midnight oil? So let me try to write in a specific form. They earned that position by working hard and by generating profits for their companies year after year. So working hard is same as burning midnight oil and they're generating profits year after year. That's something specific. So this is explaining the idea. So there was an idea one. Idea one was that they develop skills and experience and it needed an explanation it needed an explanation one and it was that they work hard and generate profits year after years okay so they work for their companies and burn the midnight oil um, the company pays them hefty hefty payups payups is not a right word that's that's incorrect uh, instead of payups use better words remunerations salaries rewards those are much better as they bring sufficient net benefits to the company's shareholders as compared to co-workers recruited at lower level um, there's a bit of a mistake in this sentence since um, the student is comparing benefits to companies shareholders with co-workers let us reread this so as they bring significant net benefits to the company's shareholders as compared to co-workers so it seems as if they are bringing more benefits to shareholders than bringing more benefits to co-workers this is not correct okay so the company executives the sentence says the company executives are bringing benefits to shareholders more benefits to shareholders and less benefits to co-workers but the sentence should compare co-workers with senior executives I hope you understand it so let me rephrase the company pays them hefty salaries as compared to subordinates now here is the right comparison them these are senior executives subordinates the direct comparison between the two since they bring net profit to the company's shareholders so the placement the placement of words is extremely important. Right placement earns you right sentence structure and in turn right bands. So a logical placement, more logical placement is beneficial. Albeit, albeit is not correct over here, although it is true that due to hard work of labor class any company flourishes, but there's no need of a com uh, there is no need of a but over here the construction is although x comma y although x exists but y also exists so although x comma y although it is true that hard work of labor class any company flourishes the sharp far-sightedness of the privileged class not a correct synonym for executives privileged class is different privileged can be those who do not who own a family heritage and do not do any work for example a uh, ruling class okay so this is not correct the executives are working people so senior employees bring ideas into practice overall there are a number of issues that need to be dealt with uh, but the ideas are clear construction of ideas is fine however the construction of sentences is a bit awkward so it needs to be rectified. Okay, let us proceed to body paragraph two. Student writes alternately many a times this pay gap brings differences between the employees giving birth to malpractices and a number of X, Y, Z. So basically my point over here is that the student has discussed a negative dimension the first problem with this essay is number one the an introduction you have to mention your opinion and that opinion should be very very clear secondly whatever opinion you mention okay discuss only that in body paragraphs discuss in the body paragraphs one and two do not discuss the opposite dimension. There is no need. You have to stick to your opinion because the question states 
To what extent do you agree or disagree, or do you agree or disagree? There was no need to discuss this. Okay, this should be discussed only if the student holds a balanced opinion that it has both positives and negatives, or um, if, if it is only negatives, then both body paragraphs should be constructed around the negative uh, aspects of this development. Another, let me go through, let me ignore this negative thing and let us proceed forward to check whether the construction is fine. The closure of Maruti Suzuki unit in Haryana is the quintessential example. I'm not going into the construction of this sentence, but more important thing is that the student has mentioned the idea but not explain the idea. So if you mention an idea, so idea two, let me assume that we are not looking at whether it's a positive or negative. Idea two is well, exp well mentioned, but explanation is lacking. And this will cost some bands. Okay. So conclusion is pretty simple in this case. And if you click on the link, you can go through it. And I don't think there, there will be any issue in it. But I wanted to discuss some of the mistakes in the body paragraphs as well as introduction. I hope you liked the video. Just go to my blog, ltechenglish.com, right over here for those who do not know, ltechenglish.com, and follow the blog or send me an email at ltechisles at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.